Here is the roundup of what happened here at Hollywood Bets Gravel, Wednesday the 16th of October. And the first race was won by Mr. Hot Stepper, who is uh, trained by Glenn Cotson, ridden by Muzi Yeni, and owned by Sandy and Eugene Arundel. Dazzler's putting in a big challenge towards the outside. Pleased to see who's also looking to run on. And Real Wars darting through on the inside. Mac Dazzler down the centre of track is finding a powerful finish. Mr. Hot Stepper stands side also running on. But Mac Dazzler continues to lead with about 150 to go. Mac Dazzler on over the top. Mr. Hot Stepper is absolutely flying. Here's Mr. Hot Stepper and Muzi Yeni to win it, beating Mac Dazzler. Sasha's dream put Doug Campbell back in the winner's enclosure. This filly was ridden by Rachel Vinnick and is owned and bred by Mr. Yarev. Sasha's dream is also looking to run on. Yellow Jackets narrowly in front towards the inside. Dynasty's last is starting to run on very strongly and Sasha's dream is also finding a big finish down the centre. But it's Yellow Jacket who's still in front narrowly. Down the centre, Sasha's dream is finding a big finish for jockey Rachel Vinnicker. Yellow Jacket in front narrowly, Sasha's dream running on strongly. Yellow Jacket still finding Sasha's dream down the centre is going to beat number nine, Yellow Jacket. Third race on the card was won by Off Limits. This filly is trained by Louis Khoursen, uh, ridden to victory by Chase Majan, and it was lovely to have Mario Ferreira's racing manager, Des Gonzalez, and his son at the course. Starting to run on is off limits towards the outside. Narrowly in front, it's English Primrose, who continues to lead with about 300 metres left to go. And here's off limits coming with a big finish down the centre under Chase Majan. English Primrose and off limits. Off limits now hits the front into the closing stages. English Primrose trying to come back, but off limits continues to roll here. And off limits is going to beat number seven, English Primrose. Third came number three, Lady. Fourth race was won by all around the world, Gary Rich, Calvin Habib, and the first of the Hollywood winners on the day. In the meantime, Circle of Grace has come forward. And at Circle of Grace, Code of Conduct's gone out the back door. And all around the world now looks a huge contender at the 200. In fact, no more a contender. Now looks like a winner. And yes, all around the world, traveling as smooth as silk the last 100. And Kelvin Abebin all around the world by just under three. Circle of Grace. Fifth race on the day was won by Zoom Bomber, uh, Corne Spies, the trainer, Marker van Rensburg. And it was lovely to have some of the Green Lightning Racing PTY Limited team at the races as well to see their gelding win. Here's looking for a way through. Zoom Bomber. Bomb Bomb's running a big race on the inside. Zoom Bomber, the leader down the centre of the course. Lancia's trying to close in. Bomb Bomb's on the inside and Lancia on the outside. Down the inside, Zoom Bomber's looking to hang tough. Bomb Bomb's the inside. Zoom Bomber and Marco van Rensburg keep them at bay. Bomb Bomb's sick and Lancia... Sixth race saw the gamble landed with fair advantage. Andre Nell, Calvin Habib, Sabine Plattner, they darted through on the inside. One to get two, Burning Man's on the outside. Sweeper keepers between them being kept together. In Quele, fair advantage is going for the rails run. Still got to get to Policy of Truth and Sean Veal. At this stage, still galloping strongly, 150 to go. And it's Policy of Truth. Fair advantage now exploding through at the rail and the money was down on number one, Fair Advantage and Calvin Abib drew away later on Policy of Truth second. It was a quick double for the connections. They won the seventh race with Rafif's Choice. Inside Princess Hannah, Rafif's Choice, they spread across the track. Down the inside of the course, now looking to run on is Chelsea Flower, but Rafif's Choice is coming with a sensational run on the outside. Here's Rafif's Choice picking them up, stride for stride, and Osteran, she's coming in hot. Rafif's Choice, game, set and match. Seconds tight, maybe Emerald. Fair Advantage was ridden by uh, Calvin Habib and uh, Rafif's choice was Serena Mudley, but the owner and the trainer were certainly the same. The eighth race was uh, won by Stars in Heaven, which uh, was trained by Gareth Van Zale, ridden by Marco van Rensburg, and it was Hollywood's second winner on the day. 
super fast down the middle. Professor Lupin's on the inside. On the outside, Pake Imali's trying to close in stars in heaven. Hippocrates and Irish luck. Professor Lupin on the inside. Pake Imali and down the inside, stars in heaven. Professor Lupin, the Greys, running a big race, a four-way go. Professor Lupin hit the front the last bit. Stars in heaven's finding a split late and going to get up. Stars in heaven late on from Professor. Lovely, thrilling finish. That was the last race of the day. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed the uh, production here out of Hollywood Beats Gravel. Good night.